Okay, welcome to this video. We're going to talk about Gemini 2.0. Um, just came out a few days ago, uh, and it's been incorporated into the Google AI Studio. I will give you the link to this in the description of the video. This is a rather, uh, I was, I've been playing around with this for the last few days, and I got to say, it's rather incredible. Good news, it's free, completely free, so you can get on here and screw around. Now, uh, several different options on the left panel here. You can create prompt, you can do starter apps, but really where this shines, I mean, you can play around with the prompts. It is an improvement, but I would say the vast improvement is under this stream baseline where you can interact with the AI uh, and, and it almost is a seamless conversation. It's, it's rather amazing. We're going to do that one. I don't have a webcam hooked up, but you get the idea here. If you hook up a webcam, you can select this option and it will identify everything you're holding, uh, your shirt, what your hairstyle is. Uh, so you can play around with that. But this is where the big improvement I see is, is this share your screen. We'll, we'll do that in a, in a few minutes. But first, we're going to talk to Gemini. Now, before you select this, before you select this, you can come over here and change some of these options. You do want to keep this on the Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. Keep that selected. I don't see why you would want to set this to text. You want to keep it uh, audio so you hold it's like you're holding a conversation the voice is probably where you might change it you can change these I think Puck uh, Charon and Fenrir are male and then Cora and Aodi Aodi am I pronouncing that right are female so let's go ahead we'll select her we'll select Aodi and what we're going to do is go ahead and just select this very first option okay Aodi can you hear me Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. How about you? Pretty good. Can you explain to me how you work? I'm a large language model, trained by Google. I process and generate text by using a massive data set of text and code. Okay, let's write a little novel and we'll, we'll start on the first chapter. Give me some ideas what we can do. Sure, we could explore a few different genres. We could do a science fiction story about a journey to another planet, or a fantasy story about a magical quest. What kind of story would you like to write? I'm interested in the science fiction story, but let's change it up a little bit. Uh, let's let's talk okay. about let's talk about an astronaut that is on a space station out in deep space, and uh, let's let's start there. Okay. An astronaut on a space station in deep space. That's a great starting point. What are their goals or challenges? Right now, the challenge is to get the space station repaired. It's broken currently. Okay, so the space station is broken and needs repairs. What caused the damage? Some, a solar flare caused the damage and there was some damage to the solar panels. A solar flare damaged the solar panels. That creates a sense of urgency. Do they have enough power to do all of the repairs? Yes. Now, you've asked enough questions. Why don't, why don't we get to writing now? So go ahead and just everything we've talked about, uh, go ahead and start writing some sentences. Okay, let's begin writing. Here's the start of our story. The red warning lights flickered across the control panel, a stark contrast to the inky blackness of deep space outside the viewport. Commander Eva Rostova gripped the armrests of her chair, her knuckles white, as she stared at the damage report on her monitor. A solar flare had ripped through the station, crippling their solar panels. That is very good. Okay, so let's add some more to this story. While she's repairing these solar panels, she notices a small moon out in the distance. So she decides to go ahead and land on that moon once the repairs are done. And once she lands on the moon, she sees a tower. It's just a, a, a large dark tower with a light at the top. The tower is surrounded by a bunch of trees. So go ahead and write that now. Okay, here are the next sentences. As Eva worked on the damaged solar panels, a glint of light in the distance caught her eye. It was a small moon a pale, almost ethereal orb hanging against the black void. Once the repairs were complete, she couldn't resist the urge to explore. Landing on the moon's dusty surface, a large, dark tower dominated the horizon, its top piercing the sky with a single, bright light. 
A ring of tall trees surrounded the tower's base. That is very, very well done. Okay, thank you. That's all we need to do today. Appreciate the help. You're welcome. I'm glad I could assist you with your story. Feel free to reach out whenever you want to continue. Okay, so you can see uh, how awesome that is. It's almost like you're holding a conversation with somebody that's helping you write a novel. Really cool stuff. Okay, let's check out the next option. Okay, so the other part to the multimodal capabilities of Gemini 2.0 is the share your screen. This is rather incredible. Um, I'm not going to do this here, but I actually saw somebody playing Minecraft with this on another video. It was pretty cool. They were, and it was actually telling them how to, how to play Minecraft. So you can see this is going to be rather incredible someday. It'll play video games with you and do all kinds of things that are basically everything that's on your PC. So we're going to go ahead and share this out and make sure you share out the entire screen. Um, we're going to change this back to IOTA so we can talk to her. So share out the entire screen. You'll see that right here. Okay, we've got our screen shared out. What do you see, Iota? Okay, I see that you're sharing your screen. There's a web browser open to a page labeled Stream Real Time with some menus on the side. The screen is mostly a dark gray color. Also, there is a smaller window of the same screen in the lower right corner and an alert at the bottom that says... Okay, okay, that, that's enough, that's enough. Thank you, I get the idea, you see it. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you, what do you see now? Okay, I now see a screen with a black background and several folders and files. There is a folder labeled Test, a folder labeled New Folder 2, a folder labeled New Folder, a folder labeled Temp, a folder labeled Games, a recycle bin icon, and one folder labeled AAA. On the right of the screen, there are three image files named A, B, and C. That is absolutely perfect. Now, I want to rename the triple A folder. Give me uh, a name I can use. Okay, how about projects as a name for the folder? What a very unoriginal name. I'm gonna okay, do it myself. Okay, I see. I'm gonna do it myself. Uh, tell me what I just renamed the folder to. You just renamed the folder to bad name. And I think you get the joke, I hope. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna open up this now. What am I looking at? What image am I, describe the image that I'm looking at. I see that you are now looking at an image of an astronaut sitting at a table with a mug on it and the earth is in the background. Very good, and what is the astronaut drinking? I do not see the astronaut drinking anything in the image. There is a mug on the table but the astronaut's hands are not near it or positioned as though they are about to drink something. Okay, that is true, but what do you think is in the cup? What, what is this? What's in, inside that cup that he, that he would be drinking? Based on the color and appearance, it looks like there's coffee in the mug. That is a correct guess. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, I'm going to put up a new image. What am, I, what am I looking at now? What type? Describe this image to me. Certainly, you're now looking at a black and white photo of a woman with dark, wavy hair, a necklace, and a dark dress, sitting at a table with a globe and a floral arrangement. There are some plants in the background. Very good. Now, here's what I would like you to do. Tell me what era, what, what period in U.S. history do you think this is from? Take your best guess. Based on the woman's hairstyle, makeup, and dress style, the image appears to be from the 1930s or 1940s. Very good guess. Yes, this image is in fact from the 1930s. And just to let you know, you are the one that generated this image. So thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with? I'm going to give you one more image. Can you tell me what this image is about? Okay, the image is a digital artwork that depicts a large, spherical, and damaged structure resembling the Death Star from the Star Wars franchise, partially submerged in a stormy ocean with large crashing waves. I couldn't have said that better myself. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? That's all I need.
thank you. Thanks again for helping me out. Once again, you can really see where this is going in the future. I find this quite amazing. Um, that was almost perfect. She almost nailed that. There were a few slight errors, but for the most part, she nailed that perfectly. So thanks again for watching.